Let's open a block. Select the Blocks folder. We will open FC18. In this view, we see only absolute addresses, but no symbol information. You can add symbol information for this block only by going to the View menu. Select Display With and choose Symbol Information. This turns the symbol information on for this block only. If you would like to take this action for all blocks, go to the Options menu. Click Customize. Then open the View tab. Place a check in the box next to symbol information. Now each block that you open in the future will display symbol information in addition to absolute addresses. You may change the color if you like. How about blue? Click OK. And OK the customize window. You can see that counter 18 does not have a symbol name. Right click on the counter number. Then click edit symbols. In the Edit Symbols window, type the symbol name you want to add. We will name this one Parts underscore Counter. Press the Tab key. The data type counter is added by default. Press the Tab key again. You may add a comment if you like. And click OK. The name is divided over two lines. Let's widen this field. Go to the Options menu. Select Customize. Open the LAD FBD tab. In the Address Field Width tab, you can increase the width up to 26. Let's see if 18 is big enough. And click OK. There, that looks better. Something to keep in mind though is if you print a paper, smaller field widths generally display more code without page breaks. Let's save this block and close it. Now let's open FC14. Let's change an existing name. Right click on the contact I1.0, symbol name T underscore acknowledge underscore fault. Click edit symbols again. In the symbol name field, let's remove the T underscore. So the name reads acknowledge underscore fault. And click OK. The name changes we have made have been stored in the project symbol table. You can open the symbol table from here in the code. Let's have a look. Click the Options menu and click Symbol Table. Here is the counter name, parts underscore counter that we added. And here is the name where we removed the T underscore. Close the Symbol Table and close the block. Now let's open FC1. In Network 2, Memory Word 700 does not have a symbol name. Right click the address. Click Edit Symbols. Select the Symbol field. Let's name this Set Underscore Default. Press the Tab key. The default data type is Word. In this case, we want the data type to be integer because of how it will be used later. Select the Data Type field and change it to INT for integer. You can learn more about data types in the video on elementary data types. Press the Tab key. Add a comment if you like and click OK. You have seen how to add or change a symbol name, its data type, or comment, and that concludes this video.